nos acercaba al stand de RHA para realizar una entrevista a los dos mejores trabajadores. En este caso estamos con Jacob y Tiar de RHA, quienes nos van a contar algunos de los secretos de, de esta compañía que está triunfando en Reino Unido y que poco a poco se está abriendo un hueco en nuestro, en nuestro país. Ya hemos tenido la oportunidad de probar algunos auriculares como los RHA 750 o los T10 y en breve tendremos una review muy completa de los T20. Pero ahora vamos a ver los secretos de una compañía realmente interesante. I have some question uh, from you. Okay, my first question is about your company. RHA is a popular UK brand, young in Spain. How do you pretend to expand your marketing in Spain? Uh, what is your strategy in the short and medium term? Uh, well, I'll answer that one for you. Um, currently, we are in Apple stores worldwide. Uh, we're in all the Apple stores in Spain. We're in about 23 uh, specialist audio stores as well. And we're going to be actually demoing our products in a lot of the specialist stores. The best thing I'd recommend is going onto our uh, webpage. It's uh, rha.co.uk. Uh, all the specialist stores are listed there. Our products are available on Amazon as well. And uh, we'll be running various events throughout the year. Well, okay. One of the things for us as a fairly young company is that we want to work with retailers that uh, can fully understand our brand and, and be able to, to, to talk to customers about it confidently, understand the products, you know, where, places where customers can go and they can try the products, they can get a feel for them and, and, uh, and listen to them themselves because it's, it's very important, you know, once you, once you actually put the headphones in, you know, you, you're, you're going to be convinced because of the quality that they have. Okay. How are the sales going to reach our products in Spain? Uh, sales are going well, they're going strong. We're, as Ian's saying, we're quite a young company, we're growing fast and uh, it's looking very, very positive. It's been, yeah, over the past few months we've, we've seen very steady growth. Okay. And one of the most important, in your website you offer three years warranty. How the Ericha uh, warranty works in Spain? Uh, with the warranty, basically, you can either contact us straight through our website and uh, you list your faults or anything goes in and we'll immediately replace the product for you. Cool. Yeah. It's, it's all about making it as easy as possible for the consumer, you know. We build our products to last, they're designed to last. We use steel, we use aluminium, we use these very durable materials. Yes. So we build them to last. But if they don't, if you have an accident, if there is a problem with them, we want to make it as easy as possible for the customers to get a replacement, you know. So um, if they send us an email via our website, if you go to rta.co.uk, you fill out a quick form, uh, you'll get a response within uh, 24 hours, you get a first response. And then after that, it's, it's less than a week before you can get your hands on new products again. So again, just try to keep it as easy and as simple as possible for the customers. Okay. Beside Eric AMF 350 and your new model, all your headphones cost between 100 and 200 euros. Are you going to stay in this way or release more economic models in order to compete with established companies? I think the thing for us is, is we don't want to double up in too many price points. We want to have a clear kind of product line. We don't want to, like at the moment we have the 500 and the 450 and they sit together. But apart from that, every product sits at a different price point, having a different purpose with a different set of features. I think once you introduce lots of products with very similar price points, with very very like very similar but with tiny differences, it can become confusing for the customer to, to understand what makes them unique, what makes them better than the ones before it, after, etc. So we try and keep it fairly simple in terms of a, a linear structure between the, the entry level price points and the high end price points. So I don't think there'll be a huge amount of kind of um, new products down at the lower end. Uh, we have a lot of products in development, um, but you know, we, we're always looking for new technologies, looking for innovations, for ways to improve our existing products. And, and, and as you see, you know, the 450i is, is, is going, uh, is, is it's carrying on in production, but you know, the 500i is, is uh, at the same price point with, with a, a different option at that price point, you know. It's got the old compact form factor and it's, it's a, a completely different sound, I think. Okay. Uh, would you like in the future uh, an over-ear line? Let's, let's say, uh, let's say we, we, I can't rule it out. Um, we're working on a lot of products, as I mentioned. Like, there's, um, like, the, our team work incredibly hard. They've always got, you know, 20 projects on the go at the same time. You, you can go into their office and there's sketches, there's prototypes, there's 3D printed models, there's drivers that have been taken apart and put back together. Uh, their office is a wonderful, wonderful mess. <laughs> okay. Um, so I can't say, yes, we'll definitely do a headphone at some point, but I wouldn't rule it out at this point. And what's about a wireless device? Uh, again, 
again a similar thing. You know, like it's, uh, it's something that you know we're, we're always looking at what what's out there in the market. What can we do to, to improve on what's on the market? What can we offer RHA's customers? You know, we, we always we're about delivering that high quality um, and, and affordability as well. And it's if we were to do those products, it's about getting them right so they hit both those fronts. You know, the build quality's got to be right, the sound quality's got to be right, the durability. You know, we, we want to make sure we get it right. So there's a lot in development um, and a lot of things that may never ever come to market. And uh, but let's say that we, we've looked at the, the options. Okay, and to end, uh, they came is a really interesting portable amplifier. Uh, Throughout your web uh, site, you informed that it will arrive in October. What can you explain about this? Yeah, um, so the, we are making a portable integrated DAC and amplifier. Um, we we had hoped to do a formal launch of it in 2015, but it may be slightly put off. So um, look out for it coming soon. We've, we've just got the latest round of prototypes, and it's sounding great. Um, now that this is we're getting we're really getting there with the sound. We just need to get the finish right. Uh, it's a very high end piece uh, compared to some of our other models. It's got it's, it's got dedicated channel processes with two DAC chips and two amplifiers, as well as a fully balanced output. So it's going to be a really, really interesting device that uh, everyone should keep an eye out for. And we'll, we'll make it a formal announcement soon to put all the specs out and things, uh, but that's all I can say for now, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, Jacob, I am. Thank you very much for, for this interview. Uh, we're impressed with your products. La verdad es que, lo que os decía, los productos de RHA son realmente competentes, están disponibles en Amazon, están disponibles en tiendas de Apple y ya sabéis que somos muy fan de Android, no nos suele gustar los productos de Cupertino, pero si hay que entrar en una tienda de Apple para comprar uno de esos auriculares, de verdad no lo dudéis, porque su calidad de sonido, su diseño y sus acabados son sencillamente impresionantes.